Imagine a city rising from the ocean, a metropolis city challenging the limits of engineering and architecture. How does it sound? Dreamy, right? But this is now a reality. Let's explore Echo Atlantic City in Lagos, Nigeria. Get ready as we unveil the secrets, successes, and challenges behind this ambitious project that's reshaping the present and redefining the future. So let's ask the burning question. How did this mega project come into being? Africa, the world's second most populated continent, is making headlines with the development of the Echo Atlantic City, which is officially known as the Nigeria International Commerce City. The city boasts an estimated value of $6 billion. But before we go any further, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our daily dose of informational and awe-inspiring videos. According to reports prior to this mega project, the area was a beach along the Atlantic Ocean on the coast of Lagos, situated on Victoria Island. Once the capital of the country, Lagos owned the renowned Bar Beach. At one point, it was the most popular beach in Africa. However, during the military regime, Bar Beach witnessed significant historical events, serving as the site where many armed robbers and plotters were executed. Notably, the first execution for armed robbery in Nigeria occurred on this beach in 1971. Over time, Bar Beach faced many challenges, mainly with flooding and causing damage to lives and property. The nearby Ahmadu Bello Way, closest to the beach, had to be closed several times for safety. Surveys indicated that the beachfront eroded by 8 to 14 meters annually. The journey began with a bold plan, born from the necessity to counteract the encroaching Atlantic. Now the stakes were high, and the clock was ticking. In 2003, discussions arose about transforming this area into a modern city, now famously known as Eco-Atlantic City. The proposed plans included a business and residential district similar in size to Manhattan's skyscraper district, spanning 10 million square meters. To safeguard this ambitious project, an 8.5-kilometer seawall, named the Great Wall of Lagos, was planned to be created. The detailed process of filling the land with sand for this city was expected to span six years, gradually giving rise to a new urban landscape along the stunning shores of Lagos. President Olusegun Obasanjo gave the green light to the project, and the construction of the new city started officially in 2008. Enjoying this video so far? Hit that like button and subscribe. You are only going to get smarter. Echo Atlantic City is huge, like really, really big. It's way bigger than other modern marvels out there. And guess what? The cost, the time it takes to build everything about this project is just massive. The cost of Eco Atlantic City rivals some of the most iconic developments globally. The meticulous planning and execution make it a contender even against places like Dubai. Let's talk about Dubai, you know, that place with all the fancy futuristic buildings. Well, Eco Atlantic City is kind of like its cool cousin. It's not just big, it's dealing with some real challenges. They are literally using sand to construct the foundation, just like Dubai did with its famous Palm Jumeirah Island. This city hosts around a quarter of a million residents and welcomes a daily flow of 200,000 travelers. This ambitious project not only promises a fresh start, but also addresses the erosion issues along Lagos's coastline. The brains and muscle behind this venture include the China Communications Construction Group Limited, experts in landfill operations and marine dredging, Royal Haas Koning, a traffic and transport specialist, and Arch Architects, who serve as consultants, are adding their expertise to the mix. These roles are privately funded by the developers and a subsidiary of the Shiguri Group of Companies, specifically South Energy X Nigeria Limited. Together, they're working in strategic partnership with the Lagos state government and receiving support from the federal government of Nigeria. Quite a team effort for a project of this magnitude. So, according to the developers, Echo Atlantic City in Nigeria is not just a city, it's a vision. They have envisioned a place that is a residential, financial, and commercial hub. Plus, it acts as a catalyst for tourism taking some of the pressure off the bustling city of Lagos. Quite the ambitious plan, right? 
But hey, they didn't just dream this up and cross their fingers. Models of the city were actually tested for ocean surges and storms at the DHI Institute in Copenhagen, Denmark. Now, let's talk geography. Echo Atlantic City is flanked by the coastline on its eastern, western, and southern borders, making it quite the waterfront wonder. It seamlessly joins Victoria Island, a part of Lagos City, and Lekki to the north on the African continent. This city is like the next-gen property wonderland, with a whopping 10 districts spread across approximately 10 square kilometers. They've got districts named Harbor Lights, Marina, Downtown Business District, Avenues, Eco Drive, and Oceanfront. Cut to November 2020, and we've got Eco Pearl Towers standing tall. Now, here's a fun fact. The city isn't just about skyscrapers and business. It's also a sports hub, hosting events like the Lago City Marathon. Imagine running against that stunning cityscape. Echo Atlantic City is not just a city. It's got the World Bank Group's stamp of approval. The International Finance Corporation, a World Bank Group member, gave it the EDGE certificate. Why? Well, this place is doing good in modern urban design, top-notch power generation, clean water, and super efficient living standards. Not to forget, telecommunications that scream future. So picture this, a city built on a huge 91 million cubic meters of sand, stretched over 6,500 meters in length and 1,260 meters in total width. That's a lot of sand, right? The city is set to create nearly a quarter of a million new jobs, and for the elite among us, there's a shopping center with luxurious boutiques and cafes. Eco-Atlantic City will also flaunt a yacht club, and not one but two large marinas for those super sleek yachts. Living the high life, quite literally, developers are on a roll, building roads and canal networks, making this city not just fancy but functional. With power plants, water supply systems, and sewage networks, it's like a city that can pretty much take care of itself. Now, here's the heart of it all. Echo Atlantic City isn't just a playground for the rich, it's an opportunity hub. Investors are flocking in, eyeing the emerging markets of the continent. It's set to become the next big thing in real estate. Basic necessities like electricity and clean water can be hard to come by in an overcrowded area like Lagos. But Echo Atlantic City, it's like a ray of hope, offering a chance for folks to enjoy these basic needs. In a country where 60% of the population lives on less than a dollar a day, this city is like a golden opportunity for many. It's not just a city, it's a potential game changer. Now, let's flip the coin and take a look at the not so sunny side of Eco Atlantic City. Brace yourselves because yes, controversies are brewing. Okay, so some folks living nearby are not so happy with Eco Atlantic City, they're pointing fingers at coastal erosion and tidal waves, blaming the city's construction and access roads for flooding and gulped power poles. Imagine having to relocate because seawater decides to flow through your living room. The state government is not taking any action either. It's catching heat for these problems and for not keeping the people in the loop. Back in August 2012, things took a serious turn. The Atlantic Ocean swelled up, flooding areas, and nearly 16 people got swept into the ocean. It was a tragic event, causing loss of life and flooding places like Carmel Beach and Victoria Island. Experts are pointing fingers at the sand dredging, a process that swiped millions of cubic meters of sand from its natural setting. This meddling with the ecosystem is stirring up trouble, altering ocean currents, and causing headaches for communities near Echo Atlantic. Over 25 meters of land have been washed away, and the ocean floor is looking like Swiss cheese with deep craters. Environmental experts are shaking their heads, saying these ocean surges happened because the contractors handling the landfill activities messed up. But hey, they also say we can reduce the impact with some nifty measures. Now, political drama enters the scene. The People's Democratic Party, in an official statement, slammed the brakes on the Eco-Atlantic project. They called for a stop and immediate compensation for suffering families and threw some blame at the Action Congress, the political party running the show in Nigeria. But wait, there's more to the story. Despite all the controversies, there's a camp that's waving the Eco-Atlantic City flag high. 
the marketing manager of a Lagos-based real estate firm, Sagan Obumbai, says the hefty cost of developing this coastal city is no joke. For many, it's not just about the hype. It's a serious investment. But here's the kicker. The same process causing this magical appearance is also sparking concerns about the project's sustainability. Now the planners are singing the praises of saving Lagos's coastline, but the construction work has left parts of the shoreline feeling a bit exposed. Critics are side-eyeing the Great Wall of Lagos, claiming it protects Eco Atlantic, but redirects ocean waves toward its coastal neighbors. But despite the bumps and waves, pun intended, Echo Atlantic City is going to be a major player in Nigeria. Massive foreign investments are lining up, with big multinational and commercial players wanting a piece of the action in the world's fastest growing megacity. So, is Echo Atlantic a good idea? What most people don't know is that Echo Atlantic is a free zone. Buying land here comes with some pretty sweet perks. Say goodbye to withholding tax on dividends, it's zero. Zero corporate income tax on free zone income. No value added taxes on stuff you buy within the free zone. Forget about custom duties on imports, it's on the house. And the best part? You're exempt from foreign exchange controls and de-dollarization policies. So if you're into benefits like these, Echo Atlantic might just be your spot. This metropolis, born from the sea, symbolizes Nigeria's aspirations for economic prominence. Yet, controversies over environmental sustainability have sparked debates between progress and preservation. It stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the challenges faced in reshaping landscapes. The journey unfolds with both applause and concern, making Echo Atlantic City a fascinating megastructure in urban development. Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more captivating stories. Until next time, stay engaged and stay curious.